Good morning, children, youth, and families of Christ Church. Grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord, Jesus Christ. I miss each and every one of you so much, and I hope that you are in good health. I am thankful for technology, which can bridge some of this gap and bring us together, but I cannot wait to see you in person once again. Let's begin our time together this morning by listening closely to what the Bible might be saying to us here and now. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. There was once someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people followed him. As they followed him, they heard him speaking about a kingdom. The kingdom was not like the one they lived in. It was not like one that anyone had ever visited. It was not like any kingdom anyone had ever heard about. So they had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? One day when they asked him that, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like when a sower, someone who scatters seeds, goes out and scatters some along the path. As the sower sowed seeds along the path, the birds of the air came and ate the seeds. The sower also sowed seeds among the stones. When the seeds tried to put their little roots down among the stones, they could not push their way into the ground. When the sun came out, it scorched the seeds and they died. The sower also sowed the seeds among the thorns. When the seeds tried to push their little roots down among the thorns, they could push them partway in but the thorns choked them up and they died. The sower also sowed seeds in the good earth. When the seeds pushed their little roots down into the good earth, they could go all the way in. They grew and they grew. When they were all grown up, they were ripe for the harvest. Then they were cut off and gathered up. The harvest was 30, 60, and 100 bushels the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. This is a parable. It is the first parable Jesus tells in the gospel of Matthew. Parables are not straightforward. They don't just say what Jesus wants us to know, not directly. Instead, they take a bit of work. Parables question our everyday view of life. They ask us to imagine life differently. Many of you know about parables from Sunday school. Some of you even know about parables from Godly Play, which we do in our caterpillar and butterfly classrooms. In those classrooms, everything has its place and the parables are on a shelf of their own. Each one is in a golden box. Why? Because parables are as valuable or even more valuable really than gold. The box also looks like a present. Parables are presents. They were given to us before we were born. They are ours, even if we don't know what they are. Parable boxes also have well-fitting lids. These are like closed doors. Sometimes parables seem closed to us, hard to understand and get into, even if we feel ready to enter them. We need to keep coming back for them, and one day they will open. Parables are remarkable because we are meant to see ourselves in them. They are our stories straight from Jesus. What is the kingdom of heaven, God's kingdom like? It is like a sower who throws out seeds everywhere. Some of them take hold and some of them don't, but the ones that take hold grow big and strong and yield plenty. We could ask many questions about the parable of the sower. What are these seeds? Who is the sower? What do you think? Do you think that we might be the sower throwing out seeds of faith to others around us? Or is God the sower? Are the seeds faith? Are they life? Are faith and life all that different? And what about those birds? Were those birds happy to eat the seeds? What happened to the seeds after the birds ate them? Some of you who read 
or watch a lot of documentaries might know that just because the birds ate the seeds doesn't mean that the life of the seeds has ended. What about the sower? How did the sower feel, do you think, as all this was happening? And why did the sower throw out so many seeds? Did you notice that? The sower threw them out everywhere as if there were enough seeds to go around with no concern about running out. These are all good questions. And there are no right answers. There are just opportunities to wonder, to wonder about God and about Jesus, about what our lives with God might look like and how we might do God's work here on earth. So this week, I invite you to wonder with your family about the sower and the seeds. Maybe look around and notice where there is new life or the potential for new life all around us. Perhaps plant a seed or many, many seeds and wait for them to grow. Look for God, who you will most certainly find if you look closely. Let's end with a prayer. Will you pray with me? Christ Jesus is the earth, welcome seeds. We would like to welcome your word. In long moments of silence, by day and by night, it begins to grow within us without our knowing how. And so you make us children of communion. We are so grateful. Amen.